What do you think about a separate section on airplanes for your kids? Hey, I'm a mom of twins. I'm thinking, let's go for it. I love it. It's time for What You Blogging. When we talk to our bloggers, authentic voices in the parenting world with stories and perspectives you're just not going to hear anyplace else. Today, we've got Jerry Mahoney from Mommy Man and Army Wife 101 herself, Crystal Spell, the self-described Oprah of military moms. All right, guys, let's get to that first story, all right? It's called a kid-free quiet zone. Do you like it? Asian airline... Sure does, and it's actually going to start it on planes now. The first seven rows, kid-free. So, you got a problem with that, or you like it? Jerry? I love it, Kira. I'm just like you. You know what? I've, I've got twins, and I'm tired of the dirty looks. Uh, <laughs> it's hard for a kid to fly. They get restless. They, they cry sometimes. They want to walk up and down the aisles. And if somebody is that annoyed by it, then, like, let them be on another part of the plane. And can away I tell you, me. they're mean, Jerry. You know they're mean. They, I have said yeah, that as some mean people, and I'm trying everything to, in my, everything in my power to rein in my kids. Crystal, what do you think? I mean, I think it must be a person who doesn't have kids who, who came up with the idea. I think it's just another ploy to make money. Um, you know, I'm assuming that the planes that are implementing this are going to be bigger, but a child's cries are bigger. So I'm trying to figure out exactly what would you be paying for. <laughs> Well, <laughs> apparently the, the, the extra cost, it's 11, it's, it's like between 11 and $35. So it's really not that much more. Okay, here's the other talker, guys. Um, the ultimate helicopter mom. Her son is only five, but he's got a prenup. Not the kind that protects his money, but the kind that protects his mommy. Here's what the bride-to-be will, will be asked to sign. I will move to my, or I will move rather near my mother-in-law, whether she decides to live in a nudist colony in Arizona or goes bat bloop crazy and moves to Alaska for the fresh sushi. So is she wise and wonderful? I'm sure her choice of habitat will suit me and my husband perfectly. So would you sign it, Crystal? No, no, and no. <laughs> I didn't marry his mother. I'm marrying him. And the only prenup that I'd be willing to sign would state that she would watch the kids and could watch the kids whenever she wanted to. <laughs> yeah, but Jerry, we got to keep the in-laws happy. We got to keep the in-laws happy, but, you know, there, there are limits, I think. And uh, I, I think <laughs> the, the idea of the mother-in-law prenup is great, but I think it's enforceable for about 30 seconds after you say, I do, and then... That's about it. What is, yeah, just give her what she wants, and then, you know, it's all over with. Yeah. It's legal. All right, Crystal, you actually got a ton of hits on your blog. Uh, don't call me a single mom because my husband is deployed. Uh, why did this hit such a nerve with everybody? Well, you know, I mean, I get the comparison, you know, because we are doing the job of, uh, of what's normally a two-parent household. But I think what some people don't realize is that calling me a single parent is not so much a slap in the face is, as it is to my husband. Um, he's providing for his family. He's going away. He's serving his country. You know, he's not necessarily leaving by choice. And my husband, in, in my case, has always disciplined, even when he was deployed. The kids knew if they did something that was out of line or not right, that they were still going to have to talk to daddy, whether it was via Skype or phone. Dad was still involved. Jerry, nothing like discipline by Skype. Oh, yeah, go ahead, Dad. <laughs> Say what you want, but I'm leaving the room. Uh, absolutely. Um... <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I agree. I, I, you know, I read your blog post. I thought it was great, and I think you make a lot of great points as to why your situation is different than a single mom's. But I think, I think at the heart of this story is that we deserve, you deserve a special term of respect for what you do because it's different than what a single mom does, but there are unique challenges to raising kids, I'm sure, when your husband or, or, or wife or partner is deployed overseas. And uh, my hat's off to you for being able to do that. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to raise those kids, and, and you, miss, you miss your sweetheart. Jerry Crystal, mm -hmm. thanks.